In this box is something I am very excited about. It's been a while since I've gotten a new tripod. Well, let me just show you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This thing has some really unique features that I think you're gonna really like. So it's been a while since I've gotten a brand new full-size tripod. Every tripod in the studio, except for one, is uh, ProMaster. They've been a huge supporter of this channel since day one, since we had like less than 5,000 subscribers. So I was stoked that they decided to work with me on this tripod launch because I love their stuff and they've been supporting this channel for so long. So thank you ProMaster for sponsoring today's video. Let's unbox this tripod. So this is called the Chronicle, comes in this cool tube, matte black, gloss map, little bright green accent. A lot of times when we do big film type projects, like with Mozzie, we have to uh, check gear. And so having a case for a tripod that can go into a checked bag is super handy, especially for a full size tripod like this. The entire tripod is black, except for these little matte silver pieces. It's got this awesome silicone grip here. I really like this for carrying around a tripod when it's cold outside and I'm not wearing gloves. This is made of carbon fiber. So for a full size tripod, this is really light. Having a tripod that's light is something we always look for when it comes to what gear we're bringing for our big projects. Okay, so the first feature that this tripod has that I thought was really cool is this handle. For a hybrid tripod, if you're shooting photo and video, this handle can be super handy. <laughs> Most of the time when we shoot videos, we're shooting on like a stationary tripod, but every now and then, especially when we're doing stuff like the Home Reno series, we're kind of opting for a tripod with a fluid head where we can do these panning shots. And that usually requires us to travel with two tripods, but this kind of puts both of those uses into one tripod. This handle is actually removable. There's a screw here, I believe that just kind of pops off. Two axes, you can unscrew this part for the panning. You can unscrew the ball part so you can go portrait mode in two different directions. Twist lock legs, Arca compatible tripod mount. So this is what the plate looks like. It also has the, like the little tightening screw on the bottom. This here is a phone mount. No need to like take this apart. You can put your phone in it. A lot of times I shoot reels on my phone while I'm on the go. So if you're kind of a hybrid shooter, this is pretty sweet. So then this part just kind of flips down and you can tighten that and then your tripod plate goes in here. We've got bubble level. We've got also a bubble level on the leg right here. I can't get over the phone mount. That's so cool. Oh, the finish on this is so tasty. It is so matte. They've really paid attention to the details of this tripod. The fit and finish is very nice. It feels like a very high quality tripod. The thing that really excited me though, was that this tripod actually has three forms. You fool, this isn't even my final form. I don't even know what that's from, but I say it all the time, so. We got regular tripod mode. Full legs, we're doing the pictures, we're doing the videos. Then there's basically a mini tripod within the large tripod. This is all you need. We have mini tripod mode. Now I think it, when I go to use this, I think I might take the control arm off, but I'm definitely gonna keep it in the bag in case I wanna do any of those panning shots. But for kind of run and gun shooting, I prefer to not have a control handle, but it's really nice to have this option, especially if we're shooting a room tour while traveling. With something like this, you could basically say goodbye to the gorilla pod situation. To be able to mount the camera on here, and just lay this on the ground and then like shoot a quick time lapse, pick it up, lay it in my lap or whatever, quick release comes off. That's gonna be really handy for us, I think. And this is really light. So I think this is called a flexor piece and that just slips down in this hole here. I believe these legs unscrew, put this back on the tripod and now pull these silver tabs out. We can adjust the legs and now we can get really low to the ground. A lot of tripods you can't get this low because that center piece inhibits you from getting all the way down. So the fact that it removes and the piece that you remove is really useful, that is pretty awesome. So this has a 3 8 16 on the top. And if you pull up on this tab, this becomes a ball head. So if you're just using these legs, I guess, on its own, and you got something mounted to it, you can lean it in different directions. So say if you're using this for like a light, then you can kind of change the direction. This is the coolest tripod I've ever seen. Okay, so we have big tripod mode, low tripod mode, mini vlogging handle tripod mode, but there is one more mode that this tripod can do, and that's 
a monopod mode. This leg comes off, so that's easy to remember. It's the one with the handle. This top part comes out and screws on. You take the foot off to the bottom. Okay, it's the legs screw in. So you could use a monopod and not even have to hold it up the whole time. And if you use that thing, you can move it around by just moving this collar. Promaster. Yes, this is the coolest tripod I have ever put my hands on. So first impressions is like, oh my God, this is probably the most useful and versatile tripod I have ever laid my hands on for a creator. Promaster just launched their Kickstarter for this tripod today. So if this looks like something that you'd be interested in, uh, check out the link in the description box. I love this thing. I think this is the perfect tripod for a creator like myself, or maybe like you, who doesn't just do photography, but you do video, you do vlogs, you do run and gun stuff and you want something where you can use your actual camera for shooting in the studio or shooting out in the field. And then also using your camera, your phone camera for doing reels and short form video on the go without having to bring an extra tripod that is compatible with your phone. Yeah, so ProMaster was actually the official tripod supplier for our helicopter series heading west. And at the time of filming this, we haven't gone on the trip yet, but this video would not be going live if I didn't love this tripod. So clearly I loved it. So we're gonna cut to some of that footage uh, from the trip and then we're gonna hop back here and I'm gonna give you some final thoughts. The things I love about it and maybe the things that aren't great, I don't know. I don't know if there are bad things or good things, but we're gonna find out. But the first thing I am gonna do is take the handle off for our trip just to get that as compact as possible. But I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update on how we're doing. We're about a week into the trip. We've been using the ProMaster Chronicle tripod in this mode, I would say a lot, like pretty much every single day. And it's super compact and easy to just kind of throw it down on the ground and shoot a quick little time lapse. So that's what I'm gonna do here now. Then we have the full size tripod over here in the bag. So hopefully we'll use that later on today or tomorrow. All right, so for the last three weeks, we have been using this tripod through our entire trip. Now that we're back, I need one day to night time lapse for episode one of the series. So we're gonna use a tripod here to uh, get that shot. Sun is setting this way, but I actually kind of want this crazy sky and I'm kind of hoping that we're gonna see that cloud move over and then we'll get some movement in the shot. We have two different strategies when we're doing time lapses. There's the quick and dirty method where we basically just throw the camera on the tripod, point it in a general direction, just hit record. In post, we'll then take that one video clip and we'll just speed it up. We'll do that if we're sort of just pressed for time. The sort of proper way to do a time lapse is to actually use the photo function on your camera. And that gives you the most flexibility and most options in post because you're shooting raw rather than just a video clip. You basically have all of the information off the sensor. You can push and pull highlights and shadows more, but it's the most work on both the production side of things when you're actually shooting the time lapse as well as the post production side of things. You'll have potentially hundreds or thousands of photos to actually cull through and edit export and then compile into a video clip. I have the a7 IV. We're basically gonna set it up to shoot for like 45 minutes. The nice thing about the cameras these days is that it actually does all the hard work for you. I'm gonna go in here to interval shooting. I'm gonna turn that on. Okay, we're gonna go every six seconds and that's gonna give us 440 shots for 43 minutes of shooting time. So we're just gonna hang out in the car while we shoot this. So I'm gonna get my ISO down as low as I can and I want this sky as it's moving to have some motion blur, so I'm gonna slow the shutter speed down. Put it on manual focus, and the reason why I wanna put it on manual focus is because as it gets dark, the autofocus is probably gonna to start to hunt, so we wanna make sure we have zero movement in the focus in here. Make sure that we are focused. Here, I've got focus peeking on so you can see the, the red halos on the, on the plane. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I have a transition sequence between two scenes. I just need something to say, it's the next day without just like cutting from a daytime shot to a daytime shot. So that's what we're doing here tonight. We like doing time lapses for this reason because you can show time passing or things happening or movement in the sky. The tripod has been the most versatile tripod we've ever used. It's very, very awesome to see innovation to such a basic piece of the kit. And the innovations too, I think, really shine through when you realize how we're using our cameras nowadays. Disconnect the head from it, you have the mini tripod as like a selfie stick or a handle. As far as all the functions are concerned, I assume that we would use it as a standard tripod the most. And I thought we'd probably use it to get dual content phone plus video, and that way we would get more phone content. It, it made using our real camera so easy, we hardly ever used the phone function. I actually thought that we would use the full stick setup more, just because that's how I typically use a tripod. The mini stick setup was just so convenient. 
we often found ourselves just like detaching it and running with it or just setting the camera down quick and dirty on the ground, on any surface, on a desk, whatever. We could get most of the static shots we wanted, but in such a compact form factor. We've actually got this using the big sticks, but they splay out and you can pretty much get the camera all the way onto the ground with this setup. So this actually gets a little bit lower than the mini stick setup. And you might think, why don't you just use the mini part of the tripod for this? But having the legs further out gives you a wider base and it makes a more stable camera. The last thing you wanna do as you're shooting a time-lapse is to have potentially unstable setup or have some potential for movement because that can spoil a time-lapse. So this makes a large tripod base and really gives you that rock solid foundation that you need for a real steady shot. Well, that's not great. I'll tell you one thing I didn't want was fireworks in the background of my transition shot. This is probably enough, but since we're already out here, what I thought we could get another time lapse and we'll shoot sort of up at that street light over there, have the dust sky fade to darkness. Street light in it will kind of give you the idea, okay, it's clearly going day to night. Becky doesn't really have a spot for the time lapse, but I guarantee you that she'll find a spot. She's like, oh, I'm glad we have this extra time lapse. So we've had this tripod for two months and I have to say it is the absolute best. As you can see, it is currently covered in sawdust because we've been using it for the renovation. We've been using it for travel. It's been in the back of the truck. Recently it was in the woods with us. We filmed a camping video, took it out there. So I absolutely love it. I think it is the most versatile tripod I have ever used. If you're looking for kind of a one-stop tripod to, you know, put in your studio to film yourself with, but then also be able to go out and vlog with and have a little travel tripod or a monopod if you're shooting like concerts and stuff. It's basically one piece of gear with like five different types of setups you can get out of it. You've been using this tripod a lot the last couple of weeks filming your office. What are your, what are your thoughts on it? When we're doing the home renovation, which if you haven't seen any of those videos, we'll link them up here. It's very difficult to film yourself while doing home renovations and get a variety of shots and keep it interesting. This is like my solo home renovation filmer special move is to put a wide establishing shot here of me like using a tool. I'll bring it in for the close up cut a lot of stuff with a track saw on the ground, rapidly take up center column and then just spread legs here and then boom, I've got this shot like down low to the ground. So I don't have to worry about like shortening the legs then re-extending them. So it's just rapid fire to get all the shots that I want to get. It doesn't slow me down when I'm, when I'm actually trying to build stuff. So this has been a very helpful tool in being able to get these projects done doing like home renovations as a solo person filming and doing the actual project. Watch how fast this is, watch this. Are you ready? Flexor strikes again. I definitely recommend checking out this tripod if you're looking to upgrade. I will leave the link to the Kickstarter in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you ProMaster for sponsoring today's video. We'll uh, see you next Sunday. Hit my elbow. Ow! <laughs> okay, I'm just getting a glimpse of the center column. I'm gonna not touch it like that. I'm getting a glimpse of the center column here. <coughs> okay there. Uh, Jesus. It's the eve of July 4th. So there's, yeah. Right? And then that's gonna go in between the two seams. And that's gonna go in between the two seams, seams. And that's gonna go in between the two scenes. Just. Are you ready? Are you, you, ready? ew, you don't do Are that. Are you ready? That's disgusting. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, you watch how fast this is. Watch this. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah.